Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen for another week of what's for dinner. All right, so tonight I'm gonna make an easy honey garlic shrimp with a side of jasmine rice and roasted broccoli. So I have my shrimp here. It's already, I'm gonna cut the tails off, but it should already be, um, you know, divined or whatever they call it. I need honey, red pepper flakes, garlic, soy sauce. I'm gonna marinate this for probably 20 to 30 minutes while I prepare my broccoli and then I'm gonna put that um, out and start cooking the shrimp. So Buy what I want, I don't want it. Do what I like, I don't like it. My life is a mess. Screaming with boredom, I don't feel nice. For the honey garlic sauce, I'm going to add 1 fourth cup of honey, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, some garlic, and some red chili flakes. I then am going to pour this into my Ziploc bag with my shrimp and marinate this for 30 minutes. I also made a second round of this so that when the shrimp is done and when it's cooking, I can add that sauce to the skillet. When I tell the truth, honestly, what's the use? They say For my roasted broccoli, I'm just going to add olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm going to roast this in my oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. After I take it out of the oven, I'm going to put fresh lemon juice on it, and it actually turns out really, really good. To cook my shrimp, I added olive oil and garlic to my wok. I then added the shrimp and cooked it until it was pink. After that, I added in the honey garlic sauce and I waited until that thickened up. recipe I'm gonna be making a Domino's hot buffalo chicken copycat recipe the recipe does call for already cooked store-bought chicken nuggets I didn't want to spend the money on store-bought chicken nuggets because I had um, these in the freezer these are my copycat chick-fil-a nuggets so I'm gonna quickly put these in my air fryer and then I'm gonna go ahead and follow the rest of the recipe but it does call for cooked chicken already. I guess because you have to pile everything on top of the chicken, like the hot sauce and the ranch and all the cheeses. So just to be safe, I'm gonna cook the chicken nuggets first. That way when they go in the oven, it's just melting the cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that and I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time What it's like to be. Things it does say to put on this is feta cheese, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna shred the cheddar cheese. It also calls for ranch. So I have my homemade ranch, and of course, buffalo sauce. Uh, 
I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my buffalo sauce, my ranch, and then I'm gonna top it with all the cheeses Me or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way up And I won't stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time so now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes or so until the cheese is completely melted. I did not cook my chicken all the way through my air fryer because my oven is preheated to 400 degrees. So it's gonna cook more in the oven and I didn't want it to get burnt. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. So I baked this for 12 minutes and this is how it looks. Um, I'm gonna serve this with celery and carrots and some homemade ranch sauce. So it does look pretty tasty. This next recipe is a slow cooker jerk chicken recipe. What you're gonna need is chicken thighs, jalapeno, yellow onion, soy sauce, white vinegar, brown sugar, ground cloves, ground nutmeg, ground allspice, ground thyme, and green onion. So to start off, I'm gonna cut up a half a jalapeno, a half of a yellow onion, and I'm gonna add that into a food processor with the soy sauce, white vinegar, the brown sugar, thyme, cloves, nutmeg, and allspice. I'm gonna parade that until it's smooth, and don't worry, I will have the recipe in the description box so you have all of the quantities of how much uh, sauce you need. <laughs> I am on my way uh, 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 I won't slow down I am on my way uh, 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 I won't slow down The next thing I'm gonna do before I put my chicken into the crock pot is just to brown it on both sides on medium high heat for five minutes on each side. After that, I will add it to my crock pot with the puree sauce for four hours, four and a half hours on low. To be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now. Need to figure it out, but I don't. All right, so it's been about four and a half hours or so. The chicken is done. I'm gonna serve this with some corn and some rice that I just made. So I'm gonna put this together. There's a hunger in my soul Makes me keep on trying all day Take me off This next recipe is a healthy version of General Tao's chicken. So for the chicken, you're gonna need ground chicken, eight ounces of water chestnuts, vegetable oil, minced garlic, minced ginger, and red chili flakes. For the sauce, you're gonna need three tablespoons of rice vinegar, three tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of hoisin sauce, one fourth cup of water, three tablespoons of sugar, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm gonna serve this with this white sticky rice. To start off, I'm gonna brown my chicken with my water chestnuts. Once the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna add in my ginger, my garlic, and my red pepper flakes. Me and take me away. For the general cow sauce, I'm gonna add rice vinegar, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, water, sugar, and a tablespoon of cornstarch in a small bowl and whisk together. My New York accent is really coming out with those sauces. I'm gonna add the sauce to the skillet and I'm gonna bring that to a boil and wait until the sauce thickens up. It's 
told you every single time, don't you worry You would always call me at the wrong time So you could know what I was up to Oh, don't you get that, it's just stupid, mm -hmm. And that's it for this week's What's For Dinner. Please drop a comment down below if you're gonna try any of these recipes or if you have any copycat recipes you want me to try. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great week, guys. Do